Welcome to our Ethereum and DeFi update. I'm Cameron, your host and the founder of Lotus Creek Management. We cover the latest developments so you can stay informed on the top highlights. Through our company magazine, we release our free digital issue at the end of every financial quarter. Print editions are available for $15. If you like our work, share, hit the like button, subscribe, or read our magazine. Now, on to the show. What's going on, everyone? Let's talk about Ethereum. Ethereum has been traded sideways for uh, for, for the month of December. Remember, uh, there's some big updates coming out with Ethereum recently. Ethereum just Ethereum just launched their new 2.0 rollup um, or update, excuse me, going forward into 2021 and uh, all the way into 2022. So. If you didn't know, Ethereum is moving from a proof of work uh, mining situation or how they mine for Ethereum to the proof of stake. And uh, within their first two weeks, they were over 160% um, oversubscribed, excuse me, onto their new proof of stake system. So basically, uh, I don't have the current numbers in front of me, but you basically had to have, I think, 32 Ether to be a main um a main validator and then to be i think a smaller validator it was uh somewhere in like in, it was a smaller number but anyways uh the point is ethereum is is just launched their update and the market has shrugged it off it did not even a blip if anything it's reinforced the fact that ethereum is a major uh cryptocurrency okay ether and ethereum the protocol which is uh, the network that backs it, right? So uh, we don't have any stock to flow analysis on Ethereum. I know there are some out there, but because of this new uh, update with Ethereum, you can just see uh, the demand is there. Okay, so we already have this crypto wave going forward with Bitcoin uh, and the whole happening situation and institutional adoption for all of the cryptocurrency space. But uh, it's important that uh, traders and uh, investors should know that if you were worried that that um, the, the, the update would affect the price, clearly it has not. As of today, today is January 10th, and the price is currently at 12, 1288 all right? So we're breaking new highs this quarter, and uh, we're almost back up to the, the ICO boom at $1,300. So, I mean... Ethereum is going back up there and the market really just traded sideways in the month of December. I mean, there was no real breakouts on the daily chart um, until until you get to the, I want to say the 24th, so right around Christmas. Okay, just like I remember, I think I was talking about Bitcoin a couple, uh, a couple of days ago. But uh, this whole time, right after Christmas, with, with both Bitcoin and Ethereum, both of the price price momentum just really ticked up right after Christmas, and if you look at the the chart for on the twenty fifth, so if you if you look, I, I'm looking at the EMA five day on the open, and uh, you see a nice uptrend from the twenty fifth all the way until January first. Okay, so that day ended on a on a, on a negative zero point two percent, so it ended on a close on a bad day, but. Uh, right after that, you see a 6% gain January 2nd, okay? And this is where things get interesting as far as the EMA, the five-day goes, okay? And I look at the EMA five-day at the open and not the close. So, um, so if you see here, and then January 3rd, we have a 26%. We go through one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we go through six days of an uptrend through this EMA, okay? And we're breaking literally back to 2018 highs. So uh, the the one day the one day chart is looking really really good. Uh, if we switch over here to the hourly chart for the month of December, uh, you start to see the same thing. Okay, so uh, and basically again it trades sideways in the month of December for the most part. Uh, we get a little uptick. I mean uh, this is December 17th. Okay, we're seeing the price right up here into the 670 range. 
uh, and then we a couple of days later from the 17th all the way down to the 23rd right before Christmas we get some a negative downtrend the EMA uh, was up it, it it was going over well it trades sideways basically between the 17th and the 24th and again that's when we see this huge momentum uh being pushed so it's it's quite incredible if we go here let me just change some of my settings really quick um make this purple there we go um but yeah so so basically, yeah, like I said, uh, the 24th, we see this big, this big, basically momentum downturn, uh, 23rd to the 24th. And, and really, right, it says like basic, uh, on the hourly chart, we're seeing this crossover really. So we see a crossover literally at the 20 on Christmas morning or, uh, yeah, Christmas morning at about the 5 a.m. Okay, we see, we see it finally cross and then we see it a sell off, a slight tick downwards uh later about 3 p.m that day and but ever since the 25th of christmas okay christmas night we just see this huge momentum okay all the way we see one part into january third january 2nd okay midday where we see that it might cross below the 90 day uh the ema but then right after that we're just seeing great uptrend into um but yeah, so that's where it's looking right now. Uh, clearly, we are back to uh, 2018 highs, which is quite incredible if you think about it. Um, yeah, it's quite incredible. So Ethereum, that's, that's all for Ethereum. Thank you. All right, let's move on to the Uniswap to the US dollar. This is a new asset um, that just came out uh, on Kraken. I'm using the Kraken. I'm looking at the Kraken chart for this on TradingView. So this is a new asset that just was listed back in October. But here in here in December, we're seeing this this uh, this asset or this crypto this cryptocurrency trade pretty flat through the month of December. Uh, we came into the month on a good EMA five day open, uh, trending above the thirty day. Uh, nothing too spectacular. I mean, the volume <coughs> looks pretty normal, uh, considering that the period between November was really there was huge inflows and outflows. Bit inflows and outflows, big sell orders. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of sell orders, a lot of uh, a lot of buy orders, a lot of sell orders. <laughs> and um, but the month of December it really calmed down. I mean. Right after November, there's a sharp drop off in the volume uh, from November 26, and then you know nothing out, out of the normal that should have seen a big dip down into the price on December the 13th, 12th, 13th range. Um, you know we're seeing the EMA dip down be below the 30 day, but then a couple of days later it starts to cross over on the 17th. We see a nice uptrend all the way until the 20th. It does uh, close 5% down on the day, 5.45%. But then uh, trade sideways up until about Christmas. And then uh, Christmas Day, just like Bitcoin and Ethereum, we have that huge uptrend in Uniswap right now. So, uh, yeah, you know, Uniswap is currently up to $5 in. 87 88 cents on a round uh on a round up but uh yeah definitely it's looking quite healthy so um what do you what do you think do you think that uniswap will go up or do you think that uniswap will even out uh this is all relative to ethereum right because all of the altcoins that are um that rely on ethereum typically do well if ethereum does well and moves in that direction but um, yeah, definitely. So that was it. I want to wrap up with Uniswap and I'll talk to you later.